In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the straight slot tool to create the sketch as shown here. So first, I'm going to control tab back to my other part. Up until now, we've always started our sketches in a plane. Well, this face is also a plane of the part, as is this one. So if I want to sketch in this face, which I do, I'm going to select it. And I'm going to move over here and tell it to create a sketch in that face. And then I'm going to look normal to that face. So now that I'm looking normal too, and I'm sketching on that plane, I'm going to come over here and I want to make a straight slot. So I'll select that. And I have several options. We're just going to stick with this one here where we make the basic straight slot by selecting three points. And I'm going to leave the checkbox on to add the dimensions as soon as it's created. And I would like the dimensions to show the width of the slot and the distance from center to center as shown here. So I'll leave this center to center selected. I'm going to come over to my face. And I'm going to position my mouse here and click. Then I'm going to move down. You'll notice right now I'm creating a construction geometry line and I'm going to click. So that's going to represent the length of our slot from center to center. And I'm going to move over and I'm going to click and that will give the slot its width and these dimensions will populate. I'll push escape to tell I'm done with that command. Then I'm going to double click on this dimension and change it to three quarters and say OK. I'm going to move this dimension over here a bit and I'll double click on it and I'm going to change that length to inch and a half. Push enter to accept it. And now I have my slot dimension to the proper size as I would like. I just want to move this off a bit. I would like my slot centered on this face. To do that, I'm going to have to add two relationships. I'm going to select the center point here that it was created with the slot creation. I'm going to hold control and select my origin. I'm going to release control and I'll make these two horizontal. And I'll click in white space. I'm going to hover over this part edge and it will go orange and then I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to tell it to select the midpoint. Once again, I'm going to hold control and I'm going to select this construction line or center line. I'm going to release control and I'm going to say I would like that coincident with the midpoint of that entity. So now my sketch is fully defined. In the next video, we'll look at how to cut this feature into the part.